Welcome to Manor Lords, and welcome back if you haven't, if you, um, and if you haven't already checked out the first episode of this series of getting started and setting up your community, please check that out just to get the full story here. Right. So, um, our goal is to upgrade some of these buildings. We have a wooden church here. That is good. We now need to make some sort of clothing. And there's three, uh, at this level, there's three basic types. Now we have generic storage of five um, animal skins. So since we are having animal skins, I think, um, and um, we have some there. I think over, let's see, we will, let's put them up sort of over here, I think. Um, Yes, a tannery. We will, and I'm putting a little bit out of town, center, but not too far to like get to work from or get people over there to it. Right. Um, so two people or two families, I should say, will continue to get the tannery going. Come on, laddie, come on. That guy has full road access, does he not yet? I don't know. Okay, church level. Fire supply, I don't know. Be shy, good sirs and ladies. So we need to get um, to upgrade this house. We need to get some clothing. And leather is considered clothing. Yarn is considered clothing. See, now we're in a green thumbs up, so that means we're starting to get into the positive area. Really, to start to get these houses filled, need to get into um, the 60% um, approval kind of thing. Yes, that will mean more firewood being consumed and more um, food being eaten, but it will help our economy. Two more planks to upgrade that, get another. Okay, we're going to stop his work there and he's going to come over and saw a log or two. No, it should absolutely be placed over there. So right now, obviously, our um, speed of completing anything is somewhat based upon how fast we can get logs there. Even if we spam out a huge number of people, it still will just go at the speed of getting logs to a location. So I want to get... Okay, so now, now that we have it here, we can use two of these to 
go up where you can hitching post to a um, small state. Okay, and we have a tannery completed. We all know what that means, thanks. So we're going to go put somebody there in the tannery. Now, come over here and get back to chopping the logs because I don't know how much more that I'm going to need for right now. Okay, now we could, though we don't have the money we spend it on getting this orchard set up um, order another oxen we I will be showing you how to get more money um, shortly okay so we now have a clothing stall here but I don't think any or they've not bought any clothes this this household or something well, these guys they still have not been buying food for some reason I don't know why we've got food Currently, meat, berries, bread, Finest plenty of fuel, so that. You know, hey, these guys do not like they're so far away, and or doesn't take a long road trip to, you know, like going around a long distance to get there. So I don't understand why they're not. Maybe it's just we don't have somebody tending the, Keep your hearth warm. the granary getting food out. Yes, winter is approaching. Okay, now we can upgrade this building. That's what I've been waiting to do. And again, we've got quite a few logs, so we're going to get him to just general labor which will help with the construction okay 10 months of fuel so that's good it'll get us through winter when we get these a little bit more populated now it'll reduce down but that'll be okay at the, the time So our house with the orchard is being upgraded. What we're looking at here is, you can click on this center place here, to upgrade um, current settlement small village, to upgrade to the next medium village, you need five of the burger plots, level one. We have seven, um, and we need... Um, two burger plots of level two. So if we're upgrading here, that simply means, um, and one is sort of transit, transitory right now, uh, we'll, lose, we'll lose a couple. So you get that going. Cover over here, so church level, food market, currently, there's one more, let's ring the bell. I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Um, and we still have negative homelessness from before. 
and other previous elements that are affecting. Okay, now, because this is sort of halfway in between, we are getting each one of these level 2 construction um, homes will get us one money. Oh, that's gold or silver, probably more like silver back in this period um, per month. So that will bring in some income. Now that will be a long time before we get anything upgraded. Okay, now notice we're now at six families. So which here we go. Um, is there somebody here? Uh, people? No. Yeah, it's this one. For some reason, this one populates first. I don't know why. Um, environment. Okay, there. Now we're getting food stall. So what will come over here? And we'll upgrade this one so we have the timber. So now we see a building that has um, wood shingle roof instead of thatch and still wattle and daub for the main part of that. somebody on this duty here okay yes November so this is still not useful we will do herbs soon and once we get this built here we should go up in level Now is somebody here we're getting yeah now we're getting full full usage we can see fuel two or three types of food there down here just one type of food. okay so we now made it to a new development here so back to this here um we can irrigation that helps from droughts, fine. Um, this, I'm sure, will help, but I don't think it's going to help very fast. This allows you to put a fence around your fields, your your crop fields, to um, get um, some sheep out there to to keep it, um, you know, more fertilized. So that. You're going to need two points. Sheep breeding would be good. Um, more berries. Beekeeping. Those are all good. Trapping. Passive income for meat. Um, I think, though, we are going to go with rye. Have not played very far. Okay, so currently we have 16 wood. So the other way to get, um, we could, is to sell things, get, to get money. Um, yeah, so we're going to build a trading post. I'm going to put them out along one of these main roads here that traders will come along. Not too far away from the settlement, but down sort of there. So you want to keep the families working. Now, it's not that they get unhappy if they don't, quote-unquote, have a job assigned to them because they'll just, whenever they, this, you know, new construction or whatever is needed, they will come along and 
do things or move some goods or some other random type jobs. Another family in here for quickly. Now we're at three. Oh, there we go. Another family moved in. So I'm going to put, as we can see, we're down to six months. Of fuel. So I'm going to get him doing his thing. Wood. We just came and picked up. There he is. The cart picked up more meat. To keep us fed. 24 months, two years of this current usage. Step right up and sample. Ah, uh, look at we both on such a hill. It's Okay, so this is how I started dealing with any unlevel ground. We're just building deep basements of lots of cosmetic stone and setting a basic level there. Okay, didn't know how different games handle that differently. This is basically one guy's passion project who's made most of the game himself. He's answered a lot of questions on Twitter, so you might find him there. A variety of food, no apples yet. Again, it takes like three years, and we haven't been doing this for a year. Get that fully, but you see eight berries, seven meat, eight bread. We will be running out of bread in a while. So they are now fully set up. Good. Okay, we have. Excess family, so let's see about. Well, they're working here. I'll keep them working there. We have lots and lots of berries, and that's going to help us out. Anywhere else. Burn the house. That'll warn me. Now you don't need to build the um, trading post to get another oxen. We're just doing that to get money to get the oxen. Okay, so we just got another family. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here. Now to trade, everything is basically set no trade. Let's pause this for a moment. Now we want to get some money. And so we're going to come over here. We're going to... Um, Export berries now right now and it automatically sort of sets at what you currently currently have and this is the desired surplus This is our current surplus. This is the desired surplus. I'm just going to highlight this and go um, 
Let's go 70. So we're going to keep a surplus of 70. So anything over 70 um, in the storehouses will be moved out here to, to be sold. Uh, so we can sell some of that and make some money. Oh, and um, here we can see we'll get three silver, three money per thing. Let's, oh, we can barely get one. Let's see if this looks at all ridiculous. Oh, no, not, well, okay. Yeah, it's on a little bit of a steep hill. This didn't continue down. This didn't continue down. I guess you could sort of, it's a bit overdone here on the side of the hill here, but eh, okay, not so terrible. And I want to assign a value to that. That will earn us some money. You'll not find finer ways anywhere else. Now we have been using a lot of yeah, four, six, seven, a lot of wood up here. Uh, so we're going to come over here and uh, too steep. Okay, yeah, let's let's put it right about there. So he'll they will replant. the trees Let's look come over here. Let's look at leather. Um, down here. Yeah. Oh, we have we'd have to set up a new trade route, which would cost us money. We don't have the money. That I think is just coming in from the houses right now. Okay, so now all of our houses are full, which is good. We're gonna put. Logging camp back into operation. Um, these guys will continue to build the forest or something, then we'll get them foresting. Or we'll see about building surplus or something. Foresting would be good. We're taking down some berries, it looks like. It'll take a while for a trader to come by and purchase them, so it won't be right away that we get a huge amount of money. But some money coming in will be good. Gave the old ox a handful of months old grass. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me a new nipple. And right now, partially be for fuel and food reasons, I really don't want a bigger population. Now, maybe you should have one, but I, I just don't see too much the benefit here. Ah, so, okay, we you see we just sold a bunch of the berries. So now we're going to come here and order another ox. 
and that still leaves us with 78. So what we're going to do is, since this has a fairly large plot here, we're going to come here and we're going to get a vegetable garden for 15. And over here, for 25, we're going to get some eggs, or well, we're going to get a chicken, which will get us eggs. And those will all help out at the market. Okay, so there. Okay, Forester's Hut is finished. Let's add a person there. What are we doing out here? I see somebody heading back in with... Probably him going back in with some meat or something. Yeah, you are transporting heights. Okay, we'll let him get to the warehouse. But we're going to get the family there. We got the granary stopped. What's our current log situation? 15. That I think is enough. So we're going to come over here and we're going to do it with a farmhouse. Yes, only three is needed. So We'll put that here. And so now they'll come over and build the farmhouse. to now that we have a fair amount of firewood there we're going to stop him doing that and that will get us two families working on construction we go a lot faster now that we have two um oxen to move the logs around little berries left to sell. We've got 120. Yeah, this will give us, passively give us some hides here. This going there. So yeah. Goats. Goat pin there. Okay. Another one there, so reforest the area a little quicker. Right now we can. build a manor, but we don't have enough stone or um, planks yet, so we will in time see about doing that.
Well, sort of kind of think we have enough logs for the moment, and we'll let them reforest over there. Planting season's coming, but we're not really ready with that yet. Think here. Um, bone cutting would be nice. Yeah, stone, tile, planks. Now, where is our stone? Way out here. Mm. Don't want to build it on right, literally on top of your stone, but nearby. Let's come here. Now that I did that, I am going to check MR fertility, which is sort of nearby here. So um, we're not we're definitely not being building there. So we're going to put this here. It's two timber, two logs. I think we'll add one more plot for the chicken coop. We have the money and it'll provide more eggs. Currently we have one egg, one batch of eggs or whatever. One meat, eight berries, eight bread. No vegetables or fruit yet. Not the right season for that. They're down to ten animals. So what I'm going to do over here is with the hunting camp they're processing a little bit. Use it to stall. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll reduce that down. Get labor doing something more profitable. Now, since we have the labor, we're not yet into the farming season. We are still cutting some what's this still cutting some firewood to keep that going. So we got 11 months of firewood, 12 months of food, um, forest reforestation happening around there. Um, we have here it's only going to cost us the labor and the log, so we'll upgrade this. And we'll look quickly here. Okay, we need to build more basic plots as well to get to the next level. I think maybe we'll put firewood. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Row of that. We'll let this Step right out get upgraded set. first. You'll not find spiderwebs anywhere else.
It is March, so planting season will come soon here. I think that'll be the next thing. Once these guys get that constructed here. We're going to get some plowing and planting or sowing done. And you do need to pay attention to the seasons. We will start seeing berries come back here. See they're growing here, none yet. They are ripe enough yet. Okay, that is complete. Now, let's pause this here. Let's come here and let's look at Emmer Fertility. Okay, that's actually gone sort of more yellowish than it was before. I'm not sure if that's just a seasonal um, change or what. Okay. So we're going to come here and look. There we go, and that's this. There we go. So we have three plots, one sort of small. And what we can get here is they start out automatically as fallow. We could do rye here, which would be very. Um, let's see what. Uh, they're all 39. I do want. Wheat as well. I'll just for that. Flax and barley are terrible. Okay, let's do this big field as wheat and this as rye and this as rye. Okay, now we're going to let's start out as two families here, yes. Farming cycles. And go. Let's add a chicken coop here as well. You don't want to do that to all of them. I mean, I think you can change. I know, I know you can change them later on, but um, you will. We will see that there are some other industries, a few that need to be done here, um, some that can be done as part of. Okay, so they're actually already starting to work out in the field. There it looks like. So let's come here and reduce that down to one guy. We have 13 months of fuel right now, so let's reduce him. And sort of maximize the labor needed there. It's all about to hit the hunting camp. 
that, I guess. I don't know. Tanner. Yeah, we'll temporarily stop his work there. Send him and over to the vault. We have six of our eight community out working on the farm. One is still working there to make sure we have enough trees to make sure we cut it down. And is the other? Oh, we could have one out here doing that. Um, what are they doing? Is one here? No one is here, but what's where's granary? No. Yeah, that six. One. Oh, is it the tanner still working? No, the tanner stopped. I thought I. Uh, people okay um farming people farming one by hand planting one by hand yeah Waiting. What are they doing? Trader. Oh, they're being traders. Oh, I don't want any more traders. Traders go away. You get over here and start harvesting. More berries harvested. They're still growing. We're going to see what well, let's um, buy and buy. make sure that these two big fields get done before we worry about that smaller field. Um, what? First level, okay, tavern, yeah, I know. We're still at 81%. And so you can see here, we're about half plowed, and we're about half plowed. This one that I stopped is just starting to be plowed. Get these plow, get these sewed, and I can reduce down and finish that. They're already collecting berries. So you can see, if especially if you watch the first episode here, um, you don't need to start the first year out planting um, 
the fields. Mm -hmm. Get some berries going, um, depending on how big your wild animals are. You know, you can get obviously some meat, whether it's going to be a mainstay. See, right now we're out of it here. Do we have any of the uh, granary? No. Um, it, it's so small, it's not going to be a mainstay in our diet, but it's going to be part of our, at times at least, um, diversity of diets. See, we have eight eggs, eight bread, still left over, two berries. Soon we'll have vegetables here, and we will have apples as well coming from there. So that will be a variety of diet, which does affect the game. It's not just cosmetic. don't have sure oh food stall okay well or fuel stall okay they're running out of fuel is why they don't like what's going on but we're still at 78 and i want to get these areas um plowed and stone thank you for the input we could have had another couple of families by this point. We could also not be doing quite as big a field area. We keep some of the other services running a bit more. I definitely want to make sure we have. If we do um, keep the Berries coming in now here. Okay, now notice here. Okay, all the trees going up. So we're going to stop that. Um, I think we're going to continue to maximize so. berries as well, though, because this is going pretty well. So now we're into sowing. Okay, mostly sowed already. Yeah, figured. See, it, it's really handy to have extra people here while it's growing because they'll, while it's growing, they'll keep pulling it off and it'll go up. And replenishment. Okay, now that we are down to that one field, I'm going to reduce this by one. And because we are seeing so many berries coming in, we're going to try to make sure they get shipped in good. Uh, not just stacked up here, you know, as we're getting overloaded, over full. Okay, so they're starting to sow. All right, so we're growing here. Speed. Use this down by one more. One more over here going to go get. Okay, now that we've done most, I'm going to reduce that down. We're going to come here for firewood. I don't know why some of the guys walk back that way. I guess maybe if you were over there, that'd be good for me to go. And 
and out here. We now have there now fully back. I'll follow that. Just let the let the fields grow. I think we're good there. Do we have any hides in storage? No. But we don't need to do that. He's dealing with firewood. Got more trees planted. 61. Hmm. Oh. I don't have tavern. I'm not worried about taverns. We do fuel fuel supply at the yeah, well he should be handling that soon. Okay, now it looks like we're late enough in the season that we'll just Grind these down. No, growing. Two families. All right. Well. Okay. So we have wood here. Log 16. We've got refreshed forests around there. Now, we're going to be having, um, you know, grain being it's too small of an area. No, it looks okay. This is heavier than it looks. So now, um, once they get that built, we can turn the... Grain into flour. Now the way this game works is it will bring in wheat from the field, and then here some people will need be needed at the farmhouse that will do the winnowing, meaning getting the the grain away from the the check, the you know just the seeds, not any of the rest of it, and so they'll do that there. Then in this game, then it comes to the windmill to grind it to flour. Now. That's definitely something that was happening very commonly by the High Middle Ages. But even still, during the Middle Ages, or even at this period um, and before, you did a lot of a lot of the grinding here. Instead of doing it here at a windmill, because um, you had to pay. So you got to understand, you had to pay to use the windmill. How did you pay? Because you didn't really have money. Well, okay, and here is also, this is a communal weapon. Um, I don't really know how much they use these either. Um, you paid in um, a percentage of what is grant. You know, um, so I don't know the percentage in 10%. I don't know, 20%. But you paid in the percent. A lot of people... And a lot of communities did not have a wind or any sort of water mill or a mill. Um, and even if they did, they didn't always use it because it costs. So they would grind it at home with, on some grindstones. That's the daily grind that, hey, us YouTubers still do, but at least we're not doing it on, um, you know, to get our food by, by grinding it up all the time. Okay, we're going to put one of the guys over here to replenish our logging. And we're going to want a stone church here. So, um, well, you know, I think we're going to get a few more community members next. So we'll let him... Well, he can. So 
they would hand grind up most of most or a lot of the wheat even at this stage in development partially because it is better to store it it'll last longer stored as grain than it will as flour um, a lot of homes did have their own ovens And you also didn't want to, so you, yes, people, they did store um, grain as, or flour, um, and absolutely they did, but it, it's, if you keep it dry, you keep it away from, or it's easier to keep it away from some of the animals that are going to eat it if it's um, in grain form and lasts a bit longer. So that was what they often wanted to do. And then, like I say, do the daily grind. Construction costs 14. Yeah. Bunch of sort of various sized homes. Use up the wood. Um, I think we have enough of this for now. That'll put two families on that. We're going to be using up a lot of our logs there, so we're going to keep them logging to replenish. So we're having meat, berries, and bread left over from the starting bread, because we've yet to grind any up. How are we doing? Okay, yield looks like 12. Okay. okay. 17, and over here, yield of 1. Wow, that's 24 days. That's pretty bad. Huh. Okay, we use it through a lot of that. That one is pretty bad. I don't know why that was so bad. Okay, well, we've expanded. Okay, what we can do, um, not going to do it right yet, but some you should definitely think about doing an herb garden. People sort of finish up with that. New family moving in, very good. So we will add that. Here we are going to shortly, 16 days, need to start. 20, 16. It's, oh, that's eight. That's much better. That, not that one. That one was... I was thinking that was really low. Oh, maybe if, if I had harvested it early, that may have been... Well, now it's down at seven. It was at eight. I don't know. Eleven, twenty... I don't know. They see me sort of jumping around here. 22, 11, 7, 
Okay, well, let's slow down to this speed here. Let's... Okay, we have... Yeah, plenty of... Yeah, let's... Okay, let's get people over here. And... Okay, 19. It had been at 22. Okay, uh... Let's... Um... Where is it? Forced early harvest here. On this field. And... It's all the way down at... Nine now? Should I have not done that earlier? I'm not sure what happened there. at the moment. Got leather. And they're down at used up. Uh, so we'll give them a, the animals a break. Get their numbers back up. better earlier on. I don't know why they've gone down. Unless it's been too dry or something. This is definitely greener down here, so I don't know if this is uplands and been dry or whatever. I don't know. Farming is, and definitely even more so, was very dependent upon the weather. We can see the 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 fertility of the ground, that's the word I was looking for, um, has gone down a bit. So we got this done, so more, we're bringing in more families. Okay, so, oh, uh, let's pause this here. So we could go to rye at 34, we could leave this here, or we could go to fallow. Let's... Let's see about going to fallow. Field? So we we are max we are maximizing the personnel to get this done. Uh, 
I'm going to get the last fish here. Okay, here. So 35%. 30. Okay, well, we could do barley at 19%. So we're going to do that. I know that's fairly low, but we're trying to do some rotation here. Pick up all the last little bits, get all that last done. Here we're going to go. Well, now that we have all of our grain, sort of some of it here, uh, there may also be some over in the granary. No, okay. Guess not. Um, is that all we have? Okay, notice it's turning it from either the wheat or the rye into just the grains. So they're doing some winnowing. This can hold quite a lot, so we're definitely not over on holding. Now, um, we will depopulate this a little bit continue there I was hoping for a lot more grain then we're going to come over here and we're going to turn some of it into flour use the marketplace here They take you to the granary now. Okay, and we've completely, yeah, um, we'll just have to think. Right, so now, let's go to normal speed. These guys will get some grain and turn it into flour, which is good. Now we're going to come over here, and we're going to take a quick look. Um... We're not going to be selling any of our um, uh, produce of that, but these berries, I think, yeah, 70 seems to be like a decent amount to keep there. So we're going to come back here and repopulate that by one so that we can sell off and get a lot more um, gold coming in. Okay, anybody living here yet? No. So we're at 90%. People will be coming in here. Um, we have a fair amount of money. All right. Well, let's pause this here. I want to thank you all for making it this far into the video. I hope it is both informative and somewhat entertaining. Um, I normally, if you want to subscribe to the channel, either because I will be doing a lot more. I'm loving uh, manor lords and we will eventually take a look at scenarios where we do combat and fight and all those good things too um, but i want to first cover the economy so you we all know what we're doing there reasonably well um, so subscribe to, to get more uh, manor lords content if you like uh, historical gaming uh, and want to hear me talk about the history around it I haven't been doing much of that here because this is more of a sort of tutorial type video um, you can also good reason to subscribe I hope um, you like the videos it'll get you more recommendations of similar videos and uh, like I said before hey if you've got a question a comment uh, a tip I'm getting something wrong here um, please um, post below do remember that this is early access version here at a 0.7.1. Earlier I was playing on a 0.6 something. 
build of the game so it is developing over time so I'm sure things will be cha changing even when and where um, you know uh, what they are now to what they will be so thank you all see you next time for more yes more historical games